Hey everyone. Well, I mean, this is definitely a new approach. We got the the Tesla drive-in movie theater, basically. Um, it's good to see everyone. It's a little hard to read the room uh, with, with everyone being in cars, but it's uh, <laughs> it's the only way we could do it. So uh, hopefully it's cool, and hopefully you can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Okay. All right, great. All right, well, thanks for coming. Um, I think it's been it's been an incredible year, um, and uh, I'd like to thank you for your support uh, through uh, you know tough times, good times. It's been great. I uh, really appreciate uh, everyone who's uh, uh, put their hard-earned money into Tesla, and uh, you know I, I think it's worked out pretty well. This this has been a, a good year, and I think uh, there's many good years to come. So I'll, I'll go through the uh, the, the sort of uh, the shareholder pre presentation. I think fairly quickly because the the sort of real main event here is Battery Day, so and and the, really I'm I'm just going through a recap of of what's happened over the past uh, year or so. Um, I think starting from uh, you know in terms of our ability to create a factory, uh, the, the uh, you know huge kudos to the Tesla Shanghai team for being able to go from literally a dirt pile to volume production in in uh, 15 months. It's like, damn. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, and, and I think something that's, qu that's really qu quite no noteworthy here is Tesla is the only foreign manufacturer to have a 100% owned factory in China. So this is often uh, uh, not well understood or, or not appreciated, but to have uh, the, the only 100% owned uh, foreign May, uh, you know, foreign factory in China is is a really big deal, um, and uh, it's it's paying huge dividends here. So uh, we really wouldn't have the results that we have had this year without the 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 uh, great efforts of the Tesla China team. So I'm super appreciative of that, um, and we'll see the the Shanghai factory continue to scale uh, quite a bit from where it is right now. I think we we really could expect that to be over time a factory that produces over a million vehicles a year. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> so uh, let's see, so volume, we also reached in the past year volume production of the Model Y, and this was the smoothest launch that we've ever had. So I think we're, we're definitely getting better at uh, new vehicle launches and building factories and scaling production. Uh, I, as you've heard me say before, it's the hardest thing is scaling production, especially of a new technology. It's insanely difficult. Uh, ma making a prototype is, is relatively easy. And if I think of like, what is the real achievement of Tesla in, in sort of car company terms? It, it, it's like, it, it wasn't making sort of exciting prototypes. Uh, it, it was that Tesla was really the first company in about a century in the US the first U.S. company in the U.S. to reach volume production uh, and be sustainably profitable. Like, the, the crazy thing is this, this has really not happened in 100 years. That's the, that's the actual super hard part. Um, and we, we now have uh, four vehicles in volume production, S3, XY. So also the, the toughest joke, uh, I think, maybe ever. Um, it was a very difficult joke to make. Um, <laughs> So we also introduced the lowest cost solar in the US. Uh, it's only $1.49 a watt. Um, and we, we really just simplified the whole chain of the whole value chain. Um, so reduced sales and advertising, um, got rid of a bunch of unnecessary costs, and really uh, are just relying upon the fact that it is, it's, it's just the lowest cost, most efficient solar in the US, uh, providing both uh, retrofit and the solar glass roof, uh, which I think is, is a really great product, a hard product to make work that it will be um, a major product line in the future. And uh, we also got four consecutive quarters of, of gap profitability, which is, was, was very difficult. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and certainly a, a testament to the, the hard work of people at Tesla. Um, I, I mean, to, to do this uh, in, in extremely difficult times against a wide range of adverse circumstances uh, was uh, <laughs> insanely hard, but we got it done. So, and, and I think we've, we're, the, the future's looking 
like I think very promising uh, from a, sort of an annual profitability standpoint. So, um, in in order to achieve, in order to, to to sort of do well financially, you really need economies of scale, um, and you need ideally the best technology. And I think we we had the best technology for a while, but now we are also achieving economies of scale. So, and we're also rapidly improving autonomy, which is um, a massive value add to each car. So, you know, I think the, the, the value of Tesla is going to be like total, just on the vehicle side, total vehicles produced times the value of autonomy. That's, that's a, a way to think about the future value of Tesla. Um, we also have consistent free cash flow generation. Uh, this is really important for growth. Uh, and and it, a key element here is tightening up the time from when a car is ordered to when it is built and delivered. Um, so for a company that is growing rapidly, it's extremely important to tighten the supply chain and to, to have, fr from, when, from when parts arrive, put it into a car very quickly and deliver the car very quickly to the customer. And if, if you can do that inside the, t the, the sort of your kind of uh, payables timeline, then the, the faster you grow, the more cash you have. Or conversely, if you're unable to do it within your, your payables timeline, uh, the faster you grow, the less money you will have, which is obviously bad um, it's for capital intensive situation. So just tightening up and having the parts move very quickly uh, to the factory, put it in a car, get it to a customer, uh, makes a massive difference to cash flow generation. And I mean, that's why it's extremely important to have a factory uh, in each continent. Um, because if you don't have, at least have a factory in the continent, it is Im impossible to achieve this. So having a factory in China that's able to serve China and then uh, you know, soon uh, many, many, many other countries in the region will be uh, key to us um, uh, tightening that, uh, that total sort of chain of cash flow and, and getting it, essentially the faster we grow, the ha more cash. This is really important. Um, that's also why it's important to have uh, Giga Berlin complete because uh, then we'll have a, a factory in China, a factory, a factory in the US, and soon a second factory in the US in Austin, um, and a factory in Europe. Um, and, and I mean, even if you, if for, for, the, for Giga Texas in Austin, uh, even if we had exactly the same cost as in California, it would still be advantageous to, to do it there because it's roughly two thirds of the way across the US. So uh, we, in terms of delivering cars to the central US and to the East Coast, uh, it's, far, it's just faster, costs less, um, and um, it, it fundamentally improves our economics. So I think this is uh, also maybe something that's not fully appreciated of, of just how important it is to have a factory at least on the continent or, or reasonably close to where the end customers is. So you can tighten that, that, that whole chain. Uh, industry performance, uh, we, we've, um, you know, while the rest of industry is, has gone down, uh, Tesla has gone up. Um, and I think this speaks to, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I, I'd like to thank all the customers for, for taking a chance on Tesla and, and buying our product and uh, really hope you're enjoying it. Um, this is really, you know, our, our sales, as Elle was saying, really grow by word of mouth. So this is really, I think, a very pure, uh, you know, it's very pure in the sense that it's like it's, it's growing on the basis of, of existing owners recommending it to, other, to, to, uh, to new customers. This is really... I think a good way to grow. Um, 